Hi boys and girls, Miss Sam here, and today we are going to make a musical instrument called a maraca. Can you say maraca? Make sure you include all three sounds in that maraca. While we're making our maracas, I want you to practice following directions with your families and also making sure that you put the end sounds on your words. So we even have a little thing that can help us to remember to use our end sounds. And that is our end sound helper. We can say the word like at or bat. So while we're practicing, we're gonna practice using our end sounds and following directions. So, how we're gonna make our maraca and what we'll need today is, we'll need a little plastic egg that we can open. You'll need something to put in your plastic egg to have it make noise. I have some rice, some noodles, and some grass. And then you'll need two plastic spoons and some tape to make the handle. Now, before I decide which one I want to use for my maraca, I'm gonna try to make three different ones that make different noises. So in my blue egg, I'm gonna put in my rice. Can you say rice, rice? Great end sounds. All right, say open the blue egg. All right, I opened it. Now we're gonna put our rice in. What do you think the rice will sound like when we shake it? Do you think it'll be quiet or loud? Okay, close it up. Ready, set, sh shake. I like the way that one sounds. Can you say sh shake? Nice work. All right, in my green egg, I'm gonna open it. Say, open the green egg. I opened it. I'm gonna put in my macaroni. I'm put in some noodles. Do you think this one will be louder than the rice or quieter than the rice? I think it'll be quieter. Let's see. Ready? Ooh, is that quieter? No, that's louder. Listen, here's the rice. And then here's the noodles. All right, for the last one, I'm gonna use my pink egg. Can you tell me open pink egg? All right, I'll open the pink one. Let's practice using our end sounds with the word pink. Pink, pink, very good. All right, so I'm gonna take my grass, my fake grass, and I'm gonna put it in my egg. Do you think the fake grass will be quieter or louder than the rice? How about quieter or louder than the noodles? Let's find out. You don't have to use rice or noodles or fake grass in your eggs. You can use whatever you have. Just ask your parents or your family members for what would be good to put inside of your eggs. All right, let's say shake. Ooh, that one's really quiet, huh? Can you hear it? So this one's really quiet and our noodles is really loud, and our rice is in the middle. So, this is our quietest one, our pink egg with the grass. Our rice is in the middle, and our noodles are the loudest. All right, I think I like the rice egg the best. Plus, blue is my favorite color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the egg and put it in between the two spoons. In between means right in the middle of. So in between the two spoons is gonna look like this. 
okay? Then for this next part, you're probably gonna have to have an adult help you. You're going to wrap the tape around the two spoons with the egg in between them. Let me get some tape. Ooh, let's practice using our end sound with the word tape. Tape, tape, very good. All right, let's put some tape around the spoon and the egg at the top. So I like to start with one and then I'm gonna add the other one. Make sure that the bottom is still lined up so it'll be easy to hold it. I'm gonna make the tape go all the way around. Very good. All right, now I'm gonna put some tape at the bottom so it doesn't come apart. Tape, tape at the bottom. All right. Now, I always like to decorate my tape a little bit. So I'm gonna get a marker and I'm gonna draw some squiggles on the top to make it extra pretty. And some polka dots on the bottom with my pink one. Polka dots. Beautiful, huh? Now, do you think we can shake it? Can you say shake, shake, shake? Good and sounds. Let's shake it. Let's see if we can hear a maraca. Wow, does your sound great? Let me hear it. All right, let's do it together. When I say go, we're gonna shake. Ready, set, go. Good work. Set your maracas down for just a second. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna practice some of our words with our end sounds. We're gonna shake our maraca when we hear the end sounds and the words. See if you can help me. All right, our first word is boot. All right, boot, boot. Nice job, boot. Good, let's try another one. Our next word is cane. 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 Great job. Let's try one more. Our next word is bows. Bows. Bows, bows, great job. Well, I hope you had fun making your maraca today and you can use it as an instrument all throughout your day and keep practicing following directions and using your end sounds to have great speech. I miss you all so much and I hope you have a great week. Bye.